Welcome to Manika IS will discuss current affairs of 13th September. First statement. Control the following statements in regard to National Rural Employment Act, Guarantee Act 2005, which of the following are correct. First statement is it, it ensures um, 170 days of employment to the needy persons in rural areas. This is wrong. It is uh, not one, 175 days, it is 100 days. 100 days of employment is given under um, that is National Rural Development Guarantee Act. That is right to work. So, first statement is wrong. It, it gives higher wages to women workers. There is no such provisions. It has, um, yes, it has mandatory that one third of the um, one third of the beneficiaries have to be women. One third of beneficiary, they have to be women. Women beneficiary of Mandega, right? So um, this is second statement is higher wages for women uh, workers. This is wrong. Uh, people are generally given both skilled and non-skilled jobs. People are generally given both skilled and unskilled jobs. Uh, this is not for skilled; it is unskilled jobs only. So third statement is also wrong. This is implemented only in rural areas of India. Yes. This is implemented only in rural areas of India. Remember, this is this scheme is launched by Ministry of Rural Development. Ministry of Rural Development that have launched Manrega scheme. Right. Another thing is work has to be provided within five kilometer of workers residence. Within five kilometer of workers residence, the work has to be provided. Hundred days a year will be provided. And unemployment allowances. Right to get an unemployment allowance in case employment is not provided within 15 days of applying. Right. When a person applies for employment, if within 15 days government is unable to give him work, then unemployment allowance will be provided. Right. <coughs> okay. Next. Remember, contractors are banned in these schemes and an advocate for social audit. Okay, next question. Consider the following statements regarding Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Dot first time defined. Which of the following statements are correct? Dot first times defined serious offenders. Now it is not indeed defined in serious offenders. Right. What? Uh, yes. Um, next question is so first statement is wrong. Uh, instead of courts in 2015 Act. District magistrate can now adopt both intra country and inter country adoption. Intra country and inter country adoption can be done by district magistrate. Right, yes. The district magistrate has the authority to make orders or issue adoption orders that may be intra country or inter country. So by the amendment especially the power is transferred to the district magistrate or DM. So two only is the answer. Okay. 
next with reference to indo pacific economic framework that is especially called on by the quad groups quadrilateral groups indo pacific uh, indo pacific uh, economic framework cultural policy and it accounts for 40% of world gdp yes this is right it accounts for 40% of world gdp and that is it is led by united united states or us usa right world gdp and especially the aim is to counter china's economic growth in the indo pacific region and the uh, and its dominance in the indo, indo pacific region right so ipf is a free trade agreement that involves no it is not a free trade agreement that involves the tariffs and tariffs it's not a free trade agreement this is just bringing together the economics for economic cooperation right so this is not a free trade agreement ipf it is a running economic cooper cooperation uh, for uh, again this is uh, this agreement is for cooperation among countries like usa and uh, usa india usa india japan and australia ip ipef in the context in the context of defense which of the following statements are correct regarding taragiri taragiri it is a nuclear submarine it is a nuclear submarine stealth frigate uh, taragiri is i taragiri is third stealth frigate right and it is not by project 75 a it is project 70 it is under project 70 They are so sourcing 80% of the metal equipment required for the project from indigenous vendor. Project 17A that is launched by Mazagon Dock Limited, right? Mazagon Dock Limited MDL, the set of ship builders limited MDL in Mumbai. It sourcing 80% of the metal equipment from indigenous vendors. Okay. This project 75A is launched by Navy. Navy India is for Navy Indian Nation, right? Project 70 17A. This is why Indian Navy Indian Nation. It aims to offer for creating steel carrying missile frigates, which are currently being uh, constructed uh, constructed by Mazagon Dock Limited. Okay. See first, first, first the uh, steel sea. That launched by under Project 17 is Nilgiri. Nilgiri, right? Nil second stealth ship. Second stealth ship. What do you mean by stealth ship? Stealth ship means uh, radar. Uh, the radar cannot detect it. Stealth ship. It cannot be detected by radar. Sorry, it cannot be detected by sonar, right? And stealth ship of radar. Uh, it cannot be detected by sonar. So that is Udaygiri and Nilgiri. Okay, next question. Which of the following are built on Project Seventeen A by M? This is Udaygiri, yes. Udaygiri, Nilgiri, Hengiri, and Dunagiri. All are all of them are built on the Project Seventeen A that creates steel frigate, steel frig, steel frigate of Indian Navy, of Indian Navy. Okay. Which of the following state is first in the country to draft suicide prevention strategy? First in the country to draft suicide prevention strategy it is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh has started suicide prevention strategy. Madhya Pradesh was uh, what was the news for Ladli Lakshmi scheme? Ladli Lakshmi scheme. 2.0 right to make the self government was in news right uttar pradesh has started a day scheme what is day scheme dr ambedkar center of excellence dr ambedkar center of excellence what is this dr ambedkar center of excellence that is to provide uh, dr ambedkar center of excellence that is to provide coaching Competitive coaching to SCS SC students. Competitive coaching to SC student. Competitive exam coaching to SC students. That is under day scheme of Uttar Pradesh government. Uttar Pradesh government has also started Panchamrit. What is this Panchamrit? Panchamrit means 
that is to double farmer income. Panchamit campaign to, to double farmer income. Panchamit was also attracted by UP government. Okay. Rastam was in news for Mangar Hillock, very important Mangar Hillock. What is this Mangar Hillock? Mangar Hillock, it is uh, declared as monuments of national importance. Of national importance. Monuments of national importance, it is uh, that is declared Mangar Hillock, it is Rajasthan, that is related to Bhil tribe, right? A tribal Jalana was happened that is, they have killed around 1500 tribe, tribe, tribes uh, in, in tribal Jalana. British has killed around 1500 tribes who are protesting in news in this. That is Rajasthan, that's why Rajasthan was in news. Okay. Exercise Prahar Prahar, Parvat Prahar has been in India. What is it? Is, it is not by China, Nepal, or USA, it is by Indian, Indian Army. Indian Army has started down, started. Exercise Parvat Praha, right? So it is okay. It's a Parvat Praha, it is in Ladakh. In Ladakh, it has started to exercise Parvat Praha. Who has got the who, who, who has got the highest civilian award of Ladakh? It is highest civilian award is Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama has got highest civilian award of Ladakh. Okay, with reference to serious fraud investigation office, serious fraud investigation office, is it statutory body? Yes, serious fraud, serious fraud investigation office is a statutory body. Right. Why it is, uh, why it is, it is established, it is established against sale companies. It is established against sale companies. Serious fraud investigation office is created. Right, because sale company, uh, what is a sale company? Sale company is a plan that does not conduct any operation in the economy. That sale company is a plan that does not conduct any operation in the economy. They are disguised business. They conduct disguised business and they are in, engaged for uh, money laundering. So SFIO, this SFIO, Serious for Investigation Office, it is a, uh, it is a um, uh, statutory body and it is functions are not under Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Ministry of Corporate Affairs, it is serious fraud investigation office. Okay. With reference to foreign direct investment of India, foreign direct investment in India, which one of the following is considered as major characteristics? That is FDI. It is talking about foreign direct investment in India. It is an investment through which capital instruments are essentially listed, essentially in a listed company. Investment through capital instrument essentially listed in a listed company. Uh, it is an investment through capital instruments essentially in a listed company. It may be FDI, yes, it can it will come under FDI. It is largely non debt creating capital flow. Yes, non debt creating capital flow means somebody is coming and investing in your country. This investment which involves debt financing. No, this is not, this is not debt servicing. It is an investment made by foreign institutions and investors in government securities. No, this is also wrong. So, uh, foreign institutions and investors means FII, that is Retail Stock Market or FII or FPI, Foreign Portfolio Investment or Foreign Institutional Investment. They are related to stock market, which is regulated by Security and Exchange Board of India. Security and Exchange Board of India is established in 1992, which is a statutory body that controls the stock market of India. Right. And FII is the investment in stock market, that is foreign institutional investment or foreign portfolio investment. But FDI is permanent investment, which is not volatile. Right. So it is non debt creating capital also if a particular company will come, foreign company will come. Investment in India that is FPI. What are the factors that determine particular vulnerable tribal groups? PVTG, particular vulnerable tribal groups, right? The Odisha has maximum maximum number of tribe for PVTG, right? These are most vulnerable tribal groups among the tribals. Pre agriculture level technology, yes, and pre agriculture level technology, stagnant declining population. Extremely low literacy, subsistence level of economy, 
all these are right regarding particularly vulnerable tribal groups okay boma technique boma technique it is a characteristic of africa this toxic technique is used in africa this is animal capture 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 right recently it is used this technique in this africa's boma technique it is used in koila Co Co dev national park National Park. It is used in Colorado National Park Why? to capture the um, titals, right? To capture the titals are spotted near um, in Colorado National Park, right? Um, for the transfer uh, to, to, to that is for the translocation to um, to, one, to other uh, hill regions, right? that is uh, Mukunda Hill Tiger Reserve. This boma technique it is popular in Africa. That is luring of animals um, into an enclosure. Luring, food luring, right? Luring animals into an enclosure. Luring animals into an enclosure. So Right. So, B is the answer. Okay. With reference to daylight saving time, it is a practice of daylight saving time. What is this daylight saving time? It is a, plastic, uh, it is a, it is a practice of resetting clocks ahead of by an hour in spring and behind by an hour in autumn. India does not follow daylight savings. Here, here both the statements are right. The practice of say, resetting clock hour by one hour in spring. I mean, turning the hour, hour by one hour in spring and, and behind by one hour in autumn. India do not follow daylight savings time by saving time. So both the statements are right. Right. The daylight saving scheme it is followed by around 70 countries of the world. That is uh, Germany, Australia, they have introduced this daylight saving scheme. Right. What is cardian rhythm? Circ circadian rhythm. What is circadian rhythm? Circadian. Circadian rhythm, it is 24 hour cycle. Uh, cycle that tells our bodies when to sleep, arise, and eat. Mount India Self Defense Disaster Management Plan. Crisis Management Plan deals with response when one, including preventive strategies. Both the statements are uh, right regarding Disaster Management Act 2005. It also ensures Disaster Management Act and Disaster Management also ensure to establishment of. To, that is, it also ensures the establishment of National Disaster Management, uh, disaster management Authority or NDMA, right? NDMA, National Disaster Emission. This is right. Right. This is right statement. Whereas Gargill Committee, Gargill Committee, that recommended 100% area to be brought under eco-sensitive India. Gardening committee came under to mend its problem in the report. No. After Gardening committee, Kastanagar committee came. Right. Gardening committee that came in 2011. In 2011, Gardening committee came and Kastanagar committee. Kastanagar committee that came in 2013. Right. Kastanagar committee. Thermal power projects face complete ban through hydropower projects are allowed with some restrictions. Thermal power projects face complete ban although hydropower projects are allowed um, in some restrictions. Yes, it is right. So, only two only option is uh, incorrect.
Solis uh, Committee it allocates for 37 percent of Western Ghats to be declared as um, to be declared as the eco sensitive area. Whereas in case of Gargil Committee, whereas Gargil Committee has recommended 100 percent to be 100 percent area to be declared as Western uh, to be declared as eco sensitive area. This is the following statement regarding the Minamata Convention. Minamata Convention, it is for mercury contamination, right? It's a put, Minamata Convention it is to put a ban on mercury contamination. Mercury is a very severe, severe pollutant. It is a even global retreat to protect human health. Even to protect human health and environment from adverse effects of mercury. Yes, Minamata Convention. Adverse effects of mercury, it's a global treaty. So this is right. Uh, this is right. Blue baby syndrome is a major disease caused by mercury contamination. No, this is not a blue baby syndrome. Second statement is wrong. That is Minamata disease. Minamata disease is it that's disease the result of uh, mercury contamination. Right. It's uh, the poor new mercury mines. Yes, one and three options are right. So, one and three options are right. This is Minamata disease that is caused by mercury poison. Next. Exercise dust leak. Exercise dust leak defense exercise between India and Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. India and Uzbekistan exercise dust leak has been. Uh, Uzbekistan. Exercise dust leak has been uh, between India and Uzbekistan constructed. Operation Green Scheme. Consider the following statement. Which the following statements are correct? Operation Green Scheme. It was launched by Ministry of Farmers Welfare in November 2018. It seeks to stabilize the supply of only tomato, uh, onion, and potato products. Operation Greens. Right. It is a fixation M2. Yes, it is. What is the objective of Operation Green? To price fixation. Farmers get right. Uh, they see this farmer to get farmer uh, right price. See, whenever there is only, then obviously that statement is wrong. It is not only only for uh, potato, tomato, or uh, onions. They will be prioritized. Focus will be tomatoes, onions, potatoes. But it is not only for them. The first statement is wrong. Okay. Who is, it is not launched by Ministry of Agriculture, it is launched by Ministry of Finance. Ministry of Finance has started Operation Greens. Operation Green, right? For price fixation. So that there will not be huge price of a particular common or particular crop. That is objective. That is the objective of Operation Green Scheme. With the mission, Jal Jivan Mission. Jal Jivan Mission it will provide self picking matter to each household in India. It follows community approach. Yes, community approach because government participation is essential. Is uh, expected in case of Jal Jivan Mission to provide safe drinking water to in rural areas. What are the following cases in case uh, following cases of modern India is not related to Baba Singh. It back was what it means because whenever any uh, aircraft accident happens especially like our um, black was uh, in our uh, the, in case of General Bipin Dawa accident happened that in that case black box is 
uh, investigated to analyze the events that lead to the air mishap. It aims to establish legal liability. Australia was the first country to make black boxes mandatory in its aeroplanes. It is a recording device used to used by aviation investigators to analyze the events led to an air mishap. This is right. It aims to establish legal liability. No, it aims to, to know. No, it aims to, to know that whether in what a region, what a region of uh, the that led to close that led to the accident. Right. You will get in, uh, information on the body, but that is not legal liability. So, statement second statement is wrong. Australia is the first country to to make black boxes mandatory in its aeroplane. Right. Yes, Australia is the first country to make. Black box monitoring is available, so one point three options are right. Article three double three double five of Indian Constitution in the news. It is related to duty of union to protect states against external aggression and external aggress. Uh, Article 3.5, it is related to the duty of union to protect states against external aggression. So D is the answer. What is Article, uh, what is article 3.5? Yes, if Article 3, what is Article 356, whenever, whenever there is breakdown of constitutional machinery in a state, then governor rule can be implemented. But Article 355, it is duty of union to protect the states against external aggression and internal disturbance. Okay, what is make that to river dispute that cause concern between two states? Make that to river dispute. Make that to river dispute that is between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Make that to river dispute. Make that river dispute that is between the dispute region between um, that is in um, Karnataka, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu in Kaveri River. In Kaveri River, river, make that project, right? Or tributary, there is it in or Kaveri, or Kaveri, Kaveri River and its tributary, or Kaveri, or Kaveri tributary. Make that water dispute has been between Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. So the prelims discussions, the objective questions discussion is completed here. Now we will see some prelims facts. Exercise Parvat Prahar. What exercise Parvat Prahar? Exercise Parvat Prahar. Army Chief General Manos Pandey visited Ladakh sector to be review exercise Parvat Prahar. Exercise was held in Ladakh plateau altitude at 14,000 feet. The exercise is new or news newly inducted all terrain vehicles transported by Chinook Heavy Lift Aircraft or K9 Bajra How How uh, K9 Bajra Houchers, right? That is uh, that is uh, that is used in exercise for Praha by Indian Army. The exercise featured display of operational capabilities by artillery guns, operational capabilities by artillery guns and other key weapons system. Simultaneously on the Western Front exercise, govern strike culminated with a firepower display 
of attack helicopters supporting deep operation by strike corps exercise gun strike culminated with fire power display attack helicopter supporting deep operation by strike corps that is exercise gun So exercise for both Maha, it is in Ladakh by Indian Army. MP fast to draft suicide prevention strategy. Madhya Pradesh will be the first state to start to draft suicide prevention strategy. Center for Social Sector Development, Autumn Bihari Vastai Institute for Governments and Policy Analysis has taken a retrospective study of suicides in Bhopal in order to develop a suicide prevention framework for the state. So it is developed by MP state, suicide prevention framework. Because suicides are increasing, they are, uh, are increasing in number day by day because of organization and highly materialistic uh, life and uh, unlimited desires. As per the report and uh, there is also excessive or very low social uh, excessive or very low social relationship. As for report, the study has classified into three parts. Part and deals with the study of suicides in Mopal in particular time frame. To understand major trends, that is 20, 30 age groups are the most vulnerable category and males are more prone to suicides than females. It, it is almost double. Males are, uh, so far suicides is concerned, around 66% are consisting of males and Rest are females. So more males are more prone to suicide. Private job holders, housewives, levels of students from the high risk category. Private job holders, housewives, laborers, and students are from high risk are from an end from the high risk category. They are coming. Quantification of causes cause so um, so that family problems. So that is family problems, mental problems, these are the causes. Uh, diseases, financial problems were major causes of suicide, financial problems. Student suicide also a much a matter of concern. The main reason is student suicide is due to academic stress. Huge academic stress that led to student suicide. Part B deals with comparative study of suicide prevention strategies from across the world to understand the best practices. To know the best practices to prevent suicide. Suitable practices have been incorporated in the suicide prevention framework. Suicide prevention framework, suitable practices have been incorporated. Okay. Part C pertains to strategy framework proposed by the research team. At 17.4% the suicide rate, in such as for one lakh population, above national average of 31 in yes. Suicide rate in Santa Cruz was above the national average. So, this in Bhopal it is highest above the national average of 11.3%. Okay, so it is launched by MP, MP government. What is the launch of YD12653 that is Taragiri? Taragiri is the fifth stealth guided in the silent frigate. Built in Indian Navy Project 17, it was launched. Taragiri, Taragiri, right? Under 50,000 core project, under 50,000 core project, 17A, project 17A program, 7 ships, 4 MDL, 3 uh, garden research ship builders engineers are uh, being built and enhanced still features, advanced indigenous weapons, and along with several other improvements. The keel of Taragari was laid in 2012 by 2000, August 2025. The seat builders under project 75 are all named after hill ranges of India. Taragiri named after hill ranges in Himalayas located in Garhwal district of Uttarakhand. Taragiri. Hill ranges uh, in Garhwal district of Uttarakhand. That is Taragiri. Taragiri in a project 17A. P17A is designed by Indian Navy in house design organization directorate of naval design. Directorate of Naval Design Surface to Surface Seat Design Group that will create Project 17A. Taragiri Air Defense Taragiri Air Defense Capability 
designed to counter the threat of enemy aircraft anti-ship missile revolve around vertical launch and long surface to air surface to air missile system so there will be surface to air missile system 230 mm rapid fire launch will provide the ship with close in defense capability while super rapid gun mount will enable her to provide effective naval gun fire support indigenously developed triple tube light with torpedo launchers rocket launchers will add on to the anti submarine capability a ship named by charu singh president of the navy and the ship was named by charu singh president of the navy wives welfare association wife of admiral ajendra bahadur singh a force in western then naval command the first ship 17a nilgiri was launched first ship was nilgiri right it has air defense capability anti ship cruise uh, there is surface to air missile system rapid gun mount gun rapid gun mount system right uh, and fast ship was nilgiri undergo sea trials expected to undergo sea trials in the fast half of 2024 second ship is himgiri himgiri nilgiri udagiri and dhonagiri right nilgiri himgiri udagiri and dhonagiri these are the just these are the ships by project 17a there will be in total 77 ships the names of the ships and 17 ships has been uh, the keels of uh, 16 and 17 ships has been uh, laid were laid in uh, laid in respective dates they will be named after ins bindagiri and mahendagiri ins bindagiri and mahendagiri so the six will be nelgiri himgiri udagiri donagiri INS Pindagiri and Mahindagiri. Project 17A ships are sourcing 80% of metal equipment. 80% of metal equipment required for the projects from indigenous vendors. It also generate employment. Have two thousand Indian farms and MSMEs. The ships are propelled by two gas turbines to main diesel engines and designed to achieve power twenty eight knots. The ships have used hull structures and beam fabric in their figures. Engineers developed the number two forty nine. Okay, so this is about project seventeen A. So these are this is going to be established. Frigate Navy frigate will be indigenous Navy frigate will be established on the project seventeen A. What is National Metallurg Metallurgist Award scheme? Ministry of Steel has given approval for National Metallurgist Award 2022, and this uh, it was issued by the Ministry of Steel and Mines to recognize honor and outstanding contribution of metallurgists in the metallurgical field, covering operation, research, design, education, waste management, energy conservation, etc. This given in an annual basis. The past award was given 1963, and subsequent every year is thereafter. Where there is given metallurgical metal, national metallurgist award, you know who has uh, and, and yes, national metallurgist award objective is to recognize outstanding contribution of metallurgists in the iron and steel sector, covering fields of manufacture, research, design, education, waste management, and their specific contribution to achieve Bharat Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Mode of nomination: nomination uh, nomination for the award shall be invited online in the Ministry of Steel. Ministry of Steel portal centralized portal being developed by Ministry of Housing Affairs, Ministry of Home Affairs, right? Nomination will be through the company's uh, uh, organization from the public through the self nomination, self nomination. Date of National Metallurgist Award, the third February every year. When the President of Rotary General Council commission the first blast furnace in the country after independence. The new Trination, the new Trination Partnership, AUKUS. What is this AUKUS? Is named after countering China's ambitions to the Indo-Pacific region. It is named after uh, named at countering China's ambition in the Indo-Pacific region. Is it going through? Is it going to supersede the existing partnership in the region? Discuss the strength and impact of AUKUS in present scenario. 
ऑकस इज ए ट्रायलेटरल सिक्योरिटी पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अमेरिका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया राइट यूएस यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अमेरिका ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यूनाइटेड किंगडम इन इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन नाउ इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन इज द हॉटेस्ट व्हाट इज मेड ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स सो दिस ऑकस इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्रायलेटरल पार्टनरशिप सिक्योरिटी पार्टनरशिप दैट इज द काउंटर चाइना दैट इज बिटवीन यूएसए एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड इंडो पैसिफिक इंडो दैट इज यूनाइटेड किंगडम इन द इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन under ocus alliance uk us and australia seek to increase the development of joint capabilities and technology sharing uk us and uh, joint yes joint capabilities and technology sharing right us and uk will help australia to counter the to external to to counter the china in the indo pacific region because of its important presence australia's important presence over the indo pacific region creation of ocus is an attempt to send a stronger message to china it will give it remember credible deterrence credible deterrence power towards china by deepening military capabilities so this ocus partnership that want to deepen the military capabilities in the indo pacific region by help by the help of australia it will also enhance the patrolling and surveillance power of the members of indo pacific in the patrolling surveillance for members of the university thus restoring the sanctity of norms and rule based order in india rule based international order because many times in the sea we have seen uh, that china is not following the international arbitration like it has ignored the international arbitration in case of south china sea and it is not following the, the international laws of the sea right even laws of the sea by providing nuclear submarines to the australia it will enhance capabilities to project power in the indo pacific So it will provide nuclear submarines to Australia, so that it will strengthen the maritime capability of Australia. The objective is to counter the to counter the China. However, critic alleges that Ocus is also like to supersede the existing partnership in the region. Ocus is also like to supersede the existing partnership in the region. For example, quadrilateral dialogue, what comprising India, Japan, Australia, and US may get lesser importance as the US might be obliged to share its strength and competence, competence to AUKUS and Quad both. AUKUS may also weaken the Five Eyes Alliance group and Asian centrality in the region. Yes, Asian centrality, Asian countries, the ten Asian countries. Yes, but that are the South Asian, Southeast Asian countries. They have a strong hold over the Indo-Pacific region. But now they see that it is because US is getting aligned with UK and Australia to stand there against uh, the Indo-Pacific region. Okay, so it will all reduce. So US is going to stand there its uh, its power in the Indo-Pacific region by Quad or AUKUS. Quad means quadrilateral group between India, Australia, and Uh, Japan and the US, and of course between uh, USA, UK, and uh, USA, UK, and Australia. On the stronger side, of course, will be integrating all the defense and security related. Uh, security, all, of course, will integrate all the defense and security related science, sub uh, science. supply chains industrial bases and technology the partnership would also involve new architecture of meetings and engagements between the three countries cooperation across emerging technologies like artificial intelligence uh, quantum technology and other such capabilities so it will on, it is it is not um, in one hand we said that yes it will decline the power of Uh, the asian countries in the indo pacific to the other hand it we can say that it will integrate all the supply chain science industrial bases technology in the indo pacific region against china China has recently China has recently uh 
I recently signed an MOU or rather had an agreement with Solomon Islands to come to uh, having the objective to establish establishment relays also in that area in Solomon Islands. So that is also a cause of concern for the United States and other AUKUS alliance and quad countries. With respect to India, AUKUS may instigate nuclear and conventional arms race in the Indo Pacific region. May instigate nuclear conventional arms race in the Indo Pacific region. Nuclear conventional arms race. Arms race means uh, this because that um, uh, China is developing its arm, arm, arms in the Navy in the Indo Pacific region. Here, Australia and the UK, UK and Australia, United States, they will also develop their uh, arms in the Indo Pacific region. India is also developing its uh, its control over the India and over the Indo Pacific region. So, it is one type of arms. Everybody is developing their arms in the Indo Pacific region. It may lead to China Russia supplying sensitive defense technologies to other states. Sensitive defense technology to other states with the exclusive vision of us may also run contrary to India's vision of inclusive Indo Pacific. Right? India has a objective of inclusive Indo Pacific rule based order in the Indo Pacific region. Of course, was formulated to ignoring, you know, formulated ignoring France, which may express rapid between like minded democratic countries on the other matter of global importance. So it is one type of negative. The negative is that India, UK, of course, has ignored the France, which is one of the important country, right? Which is a democratic country, and that there may be also create some. It also may create self deficit. Thus, the of course offers advantage of balance of power in the region because China is China is dominated too much, and Australia is not not much power powerful to control China. That's why there is. UK and the US are both countries who are coming to help the Australia. Right. And strategic autonomy and check on Chinese aggression. Right. China here is heavily developing its weapons, weaponaries in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific region. So it can, it can counter the counter the China in case of Indo Pacific region. It has significant challenges and it is top notch in the Pacific NATO. India has diverse relationship with West most deployed in full military to prevent split in the Indo Pacific coalition. Right. India has diverse interest and um, it has diverse interest in the Indo Pacific region that is regarding trade and also cooperation with countries like Japan, Australia, and USA in various fronts uh, for the economy engagement, technological engagement, nuclear engagement, and also obviously for security engagement. So, India should leverage its whatever of its capacity it, is, it has to ensure one thing is to counter China's aggressiveness because it is a uh, authoritarian design, right? And we have to play the role of net security power provider in the, in the, in the Indian Ocean region. And that's why India should develop its relationship with all these countries to ensure the larger goal of free trade or uh, free and uh, free and prosperous trade in the India in the uh, Indian Ocean and Indo Pacific region. Okay, so the lecture ends here. And like this video, share and subscribe to my guys. Thank you. Thank you, Professor John.